What's up beautiful creators? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Janae and I'm a filmmaker based in Los Angeles, California. And my YouTube is all things filmmaking. So recently I just did my first vlog, 2021. I wanted to start with the bang, something new, something different. And in that vlog, we actually did a road trip during quarantine. And with that, I wanted to take you guys on the route that we went to and the stops that we went to by showing you guys an animated map as we decided to drive to our destination. The nation now when I was looking to do this or learn how to do this I couldn't find any YouTube tutorials that showed me the type of map that I was trying to do and how to animate it which brought me to this video today to show you guys how I animated my maps as well as did all the pop-ups and everything to make it look as if how it will look on your iPhone and I just wanted to show you guys that tutorial in case anyone else was looking to do something very similar so I'm sure that it's easier ways to do this in After Effects. I'm no After Effects guru, but I just wanted to show you guys a fun way to interpret animated maps into your videos. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. So the first thing that I did was I just went to Google Maps. And so we're already here. I went to Google Maps and I typed in Livermore CA, which I don't wanna give you guys the actual location or address so i just typed in livermore ca what i did was i went into directions and i put in you know the starting place so wherever you're starting you put that in as you can see it gives us a couple of routes of you know what they're suggesting the routes that we take whether it's by plane or by car and they highlight you know the the fastest route and they show you in gray other routes and we don't want to see any of that because we want to create the route ourselves i remember the route that we took because we essentially just stayed on the 101 the whole time as much as we could and then we went through san jose to eventually get to livermore so the goal is to create your route so we don't want to see any highlight we don't want to see any gray we don't want to see any routes that they're giving us because we want to create our own route so what we're going to do is once you create your starting stopping and it shows you we're going to give a little buffer at the top and we're going to give some buffer at the bottom but we're going to make sure that we enter full screen right so we'll zoom in a little bit because now we have a little too much buffer at the top and the bottom and then we're gonna exit out because that's gonna get rid of all of the highlighted routes or the gray routes. And then we're gonna close that panel. That way we have, you see it, it has a little heart for your starting place, the home or whatever. And then it has this red for where you're trying to get to. We're gonna take a screenshot of this so we can take it into After Effects and start to animate it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screenshot and we don't wanna get any of the additional icons. So. Perfect. Now we're gonna get out of this, out of Chrome, and we're gonna go right into After Effects. And then from there, we're going to bring in our screenshot. So the first thing that we're going to do with this is I'm gonna put my title, um, put LA, and then I'm also gonna put Livermore, and I'm gonna put the start and stop circles, all of that before we get into anything else. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my ellipse tool and I'm gonna create two circles. Where the start and the stop point is, right? You can put whatever color that you wanna put, however way you wanna do it. You can put stars, you can put a square, you can put whatever you want. I just started with circles, something that was easy since I, you know, I wanted to get the video out. And then I'm going to put a text layer. So I'm gonna put Los Angeles. And again, with this, get creative. You can change your font, you can change your color, of course, whatever it is that you wanna do. But for this particular tutorial, I'm gonna keep it simple. So we have Livermore, right? That's where we're going. And then we have Los Angeles, that's where we're going. So now as you see, we have four layers already. We have the shape layer, which is our circles, both of the text, as well as the overall screen. And we need to basically pre-compose this or nest this so that it can be one full composition or one full sequence, similar to what you would do in Premiere. So we're gonna select it all, right click, pre-compose, and we can title it Wide Map. Then we're gonna hit okay. So now it created just one full composition for us. So what we want to do now is we're gonna kinda zoom in to maybe 200% percent because now we're going to start to create the animation, the route that we're trying to take. 
So I'm going to kind of move this over here and we're going to go to effects and presets and we're going to type in right on. So just type in right and it'll bring on right on and we're going to drag that onto the wide map. And what you'll see is in the effects control, you'll see it pop up. And so we want the brush to be five. We don't want it to be too small, but we don't want it to be too big. We want it to be just right. And then I'm gonna hit from my brush spacing zero. It doesn't take it fully to zero, but it's as close to zero as possible. And we pretty much want everything else to stay the same. You can change the brush hardness if you want to. Um, and then for color, I did blue. If you go to the vlog and you look, I did blue. But again, whatever color that you wanna do, it's up to you. We're gonna start with blue. So what we're gonna do is basically just keyframe the route that we took. That's pretty much it. It can be really tedious, but it has to be done. If there's an easier way, let me know, but this is how I did it. So we're gonna hit this little timer that where it says brush position. First of all, we have to find the brush position because for some odd reason, it doesn't just pop on where you need it to pop on. So as you can see here, I don't even know if you can see, but it has like this little circle tool. So we're gonna kind of zoom in here. We're gonna bring our brush position all the way to where we need it to go. Okay, so we're gonna start here and we're gonna hit uh, brush position, hit the little timer. And as you can see, it creates a keyframe. It says effects at the bottom and it says right on, it creates a keyframe. So basically for every 12 frames, we're going to try to follow the route and the path till we get to Livermore. So let's go. So every time you move it, you'll see it staying. And actually we're gonna make them a lot closer together. So, cause we, we only, we don't want this to be on for too long. So we have to do this in 10 seconds. Right? So this is the tedious part. And again, there's way more easier ways to do this. So don't kill me for the way that I'm doing it. Boom, perfect. So now we have to go from being zoom. We want to zoom in so we can follow it and then eventually zoom out to just show the overall thing. So the first thing they're going to see is the actual zoom in effect. So we're going to go to transform and we're going to position and scale and we're going to scale it to 250. We want to position it to make sure, it, you know, doesn't show any black. We're going to position it right here. And as we continue to go, we see it moving. We have to follow it. So now that we have it and we see it, we want to eventually go from that being 250 to then making sure we got our keyframes, our last keyframe. And then we'll go to 1312 and we're going to zoom back out. So we're going to do 100 for the scale. And then we have to kind of go back to what our position was. We're following it and then it goes wide. And I'm gonna keyframe this and put easy ease in. So what I did was I basically had to duplicate this one to put here. So after it kind of stops, we can do an easy ease in. And then it zooms out and shows the overall thing. So let's see how that looks. Boom, boom, boom. We'll put the quality on half. So I kind of still want that to move a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just have it move a tag. And we'll make all these easy ease in. Easy ease in. We're gonna change all of these to linear. So go to keyframe, we're gonna change it all to linear, okay? 
perfect. And now, once we do that, we can then put it where we need to. So, we ch I changed it all to linear because as you can see, it was getting a lot of moving and going up and down. So that way, it's just kind of like stagnant and kind of how I want it to be. But essentially, this is all it is. We follow how it goes and then we zoom out to show, right? So now, I went a step above to just make it more fun and I went to go get a car. So now we're gonna go to Google and I'm gonna try to get uh, my friend's car. He has a Toyota, so that's what I'm gonna look for. Um, Forerunner. And then I typed in pictures gray because the goal is to find an easy picture that we can go into Photoshop and use. So what I did was, and I think I still have it, so I'll just show you guys what I found because that'll make it so much easier. So let's see. This is the this is the actual Toyota 4Runner that I have and what I did was I went into Photoshop and I just got rid of all of the white space. So I ended up coming out with this. So as you can see I got rid of all the white even inside of the actual um, car I didn't do a great job but that's okay because it's gonna be so small that you won't see it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this into my project so let's drag it into the project so now we have the car so we're gonna scale this down because we want the car to follow the actual route that we took so I scaled it down and I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna probably scale it down to five right so you see the little bitty car i'm actually gonna no, i'm just gonna bring it back up to 10 so you see the car and the goal is to track it with the actual tracking that we did because as you can see it doesn't necessarily track as of now what i'm going to do is keyframe the car as well so we're gonna go into position as well and we're just gonna kind of follow the the route that you know it's kind of taking us on and then we also have to make sure that we also make all of these linear as well um, just to make sure it's not doing its own movement or wrap around as you can see you might have to move certain things but now it's doing exactly how we need it to do just keeping it on track to where it needs to go So we've already created a route and we've already create, had the car go with the route. So now the goal really is to then make the pop-up. So if you go on your phone, basically your phone, if you go to the location, the maps shows you where you took these particular photos. And so because we stopped at a couple places, I wanted to just highlight the stops as we went through the vlog. So for instance, one of the stops was Santa Marie. So let's say we wanted to stop here, and when we stopped here, we had a pop-up of whatever picture was that we were going to. So what we're gonna do is, since this was one of the places that we stopped, we're gonna also title it again, and we're gonna move it to where it doesn't pop up till we get to that destination. So right when we get to the destination, it pops up. But as you can see, it just keeps it it just goes and moves how it wants. So we're gonna use that parent uh pick whip again and put it onto the Y map. That way as it moves, it kind of goes away as we continue to go higher, right? And so for every stop, even if we decide to do Pismo Beach, because we also stopped at Pismo Beach, if we go and type in Pismo Beach, right? The goal is to make sure that this one 
goes down as well as we continue to go up but now it's just going up with us but pismo beach we've already passed it so you have to click the parent and make sure you attach that to the y map so as we go you see santa marie you see pismo beach and you see all these places that we're passing that is the goal so when we stop at santa marie we want to see a pop-up so what we did in santa marie was we went to best buy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and i'm gonna find the clip of when we went to best buy and so let's find that boom so this is the clip of when we went to best buy i'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it in and i'm gonna drag it down oh. right and then what i did was i created a freeze frame so i right clicked and then i went to time and then freeze frame because we want to really just take this quick freeze frame and then basically show you know us going here so what i did was i went and i made it smaller because we have to make it fit it's supposed to look like this square if you look at the iphone it's like this square so i made it smaller and i also went to rectangle tool and i basically created a rectangle right and what i did with that is i right clicked on that and I went to blending mode. No, I went to layer styles and I created a stroke. With that stroke, if you go back down to your timeline and you go over to mask, you can mask how you want it to go. And so what I did, well, you go to layer styles and then you go to blending mode because we added a stroke. So when you see it, you see red, but if you go to the iPhone, you'll see that it's actually white. And we want the size to maybe be five. So now when we see it, it pops up, but it keeps going. So again, we need to do the parent to where we make sure that it's on the wide map. So now when it goes, it pops up and it shows what we've done. And then for Pismo Beach, we also did something else. So for Pismo Beach, we stopped and I think we used this one. So I'm going to drag that down as well. And I'm going to figure out what, what where I want to freeze frame. And I look a mess. So let's say I freeze frame here. So I'm gonna right click, go to time, freeze frame. And then I'm basically just gonna drag it where it needs to go. It doesn't matter how long because essentially we won't see it anymore. And again, we're gonna make this smaller as well. So we're gonna go and transform that and put it on maybe 10 or five. Um, and then we're gonna go to the round rectangle tool, which is actually the one that I used. Make that a square. And then we're going to right click, go to layer style, stroke, and then go back down to the bottom where it has our stroke. We're gonna make that white. And then we're gonna bump up that size, right? And then we're gonna put the parent onto the wide map. So now when you see Pismo, we're gonna move it down. And it's still a little too big, so we're gonna position it onto three. So, as we're driving, you see Santa Marie, then you see Pismo Beach, and we want to make sure that it comes on as soon as Pismo Beach comes, see Pismo Beach, boom, and then we just keep going. And that's really, honestly, how I did it. So now we're going to go ahead and render that all the way through, and we'll see how it really looks. This essentially is the basics of how I did it. I know that there's probably a faster way to do this, but at least you know the manual in the longer way, right? I know it was super fast. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment below. Like this video if you liked it, share it with your friends, and please make sure that you are subscribed. I will be getting back in my editing video bag this year. So if you like this video and you wanna see more, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.